Now, I'm going to sh talk to you about the clone brush. So the cloning brush is, uh, or the clone stamp, I should say, is right below the healing brush, and it looks like a rubber stamp. And if you click and hold down on that button, there's a clone stamp, and then there's a pattern stamp, and we want to use the clone stamp tool. So make sure that's selected. Um, I always put my opacity at about... Well, first let me show you what it does. Okay, so let's make it bigger. So if you hold down Option, you get the same crosshairs with this. Um, but the difference is, if I select this area, and then I want to paint that over here. Actually, let me select something you can tell. Let me select her eye. And then I was to paint over here. You're actually painting that object in, and it's not it's not blending it at all. So whatever you're moving it from, I mean that's what you're gonna get. It's not gonna blend it like it does with the uh, the healing brush, but this is this is good for some things. So like this eye, I pro possibly could use the healing brush on this too, but I wanna. Make sure I keep the texture in the iris uh, and in the pupil here. So I'm going to make it s our brush pretty small. And I'm going to go in, select some of the black from the eye. And if you see this plus sign below the circle, that's showing me the area that it's pulling from. So if you're uh, if you're wanting to pull from an area, if you keep an eye on that, it'll kind of let you know what part of the picture it's pulling from at what time uh, so you'll know if you're about to you know go further than you want to go um, what we mostly use the uh, healing brush for is smoothing out skin and fixing like the uh, bags under eyes and stuff and dark circles um, so for this we put our opacity at about 10 uh, and the, the shortcut for changing the opacity is uh, using the numbers on the top, one through zero. So if you just hit one, you'll get opacity 10. And then we usually keep our flow at about 80. And the shortcut for that is to hold shift while you're using those numbers. So if you wanted to hold shift and eight, then, or hold shift and then hit eight, uh, that will change your flow to 80. Um, and you know, two is 20, three is 30, etc. So I've got my opacity at 10, my flow at 80. The brush, uh, make sure the hardness is all the way down because uh, we want to use a soft brush with soft edges. Uh, about, I don't know, fairly large because we're going to be doing some sweeping motions. By the way, if you don't have a, uh, a pen and tablet, uh, like a Wacom tablet, uh, we highly recommend it because for anyone using Photoshop extensively, it's just you just need to have one. It offers a lot more control, so uh, and pressure sensitivity, and it just helps a lot when touching up photos and makes it a lot quicker. So hold down Option and select uh, an area of this skin tone that you want to kind of copy for under her eyes. And if you see, it's kind of starting to go away, and you can you can paint a little bit and then grab from somewhere else but the plus side to using this instead of uh, the normal just regular paintbrush tool uh, is that when I'm painting over this this plus sign is moving around the face and grabbing from different areas so the tone is changing like real skin tone it's not a flat one flat color like if you were using a paintbrush so we prefer this method over using the paintbrush and selecting the skin color and then having to change the skin color and then having to change the skin color again. Um, it's just a lot easier method and it ends up looking a lot more natural and uh, because it also keeps some of that texture in there. It doesn't really replace it. Um, I'm going to do the same thing to this side. And if you see up here, 
Her skin is not too smooth right here on her forehead, so I'm going to go ahead and smooth that out a little. <clears throat> and again, by having a lower opacity, I'm able to uh, kind of be more free with it without worrying about ma making any huge mistakes. Um, so I can get rid of these lines and this roughness in the forehead. So that's about it. Um, touch up a little bit more on her lips there. I missed it with the healing brush. Um, but yeah, that's the basics of the healing brush and the clone stamp. Uh, when you're doing I recommend also under the eyes leave a little bit of it because if you get rid of it completely, let me just show you. It uh, looks really weird. It makes the face appear very flat. And so we don't want that. So that's it. Um, thank you for watching and uh, keep an eye out for more tutorials.